about just making a general comment about the game, and then we'll go to questions. Well, we lost 26 to six against a good football team in the state championship, and um, our 21 seniors did a great job this year. Uh, and, and in their whole four years, I mean, nothing to be, hang your head about when you're going, when you go 50 and four and only lose your four losses in your entire career to the state champ. So it's a lot to, uh, you know, great group, and it's, um, you know, it's nothing to hang your head about. Coach, how proud of you were this team? Of you were of were you of this team earlier in the game when they were able to respond? I mean, you guys went down six nothing and just bounced right back. Yeah, I mean that's kind of what this team's about is just continuing to move forward when adversity hits. You know, we knew we knew we were going to have our ups and downs in, in in this game and in every game really. But it's about moving forward and having that next play mentality where. Um, you know, whatever happened, you focus on the next play and just move forward. And our kids just, you know, they competed um, and they gave it all they had. Talk about the defensive effort tonight. You guys had a couple of uh, key fourth down stops, especially against uh, Deshante Jones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, defense continued to uh, battle through. I mean, they're, they're, they have a huge offensive line. They have a very good running back. They have a very good quarterback, um, and um, you know you can't you can't get out of your gap um, and expect to stop the run. Um, so you know these guys they did a great job, and um, you know our defensive coordinator Chad Seymour has done a great job this entire year getting our our guys prepared. All of our defensive guys have done a great job, you know, to uh, to have ten shutouts. Um, you know, in the season was tremendous. One of only seven teams to do that, and Wyoming's, you know, has two teams on that that list, and so that's a lot to be proud about. But we knew it was going to be a battle. We knew we had to slow them down um, as far as getting him to their running back to bounce it out uh, and, and get him running side to side. But you know, he's 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 a good player. Coach, offensively for you guys, I believe it was just a couple of weeks ago that you installed the direct snap to CJ. You guys used it a little bit again tonight. Um, for your offense to be able to, to adapt to that as quickly as they were, how much did that help to be able to you know, kind of break a few runs tonight? Yeah, I mean, it adds an extra blocker. You know, um, it's like having a running quarterback back there. Added, so it adds another dynamic to it. and. Uh, you know, we are such a run-heavy team offensively that teams are just going to load the box no matter what and dare you to pass it. So um, it, it's been good for us. But, um, you know, we just have to adapt each and every week to, to beat our opponent and be 1-0. and And that was all, you know, that's all that's about is just, you know, putting our kids in a position to be successful. What was CJ's injury? Was it a concussion or syndrome or just a head injury? Concussion protocol. Protocol, gotcha. Thank you. Why can you talk about how physical it was in the trenches? Uh, yeah, I mean their defensive line's big. <coughs> Linebackers are really good, so you know it was a war up front. Um, they're a really good football team. We knew that coming in. We knew it was going to be a war, and we just tried as hard as we could. And, you know. Anything else for anyone? Thank you, guys. Congratulations.